Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby, your daily call to prayer. Pray with us every day right here on the podcast and in your inbox. Learn more at morningoffering.com. Greetings, friends. Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby. Today is Sunday, October 29th, and today I'd like to talk about the Shema. But first, let's pray together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, the reunion of all Christians, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Happy Sunday, friends. Today we honor the Lord's resurrection. Every Sunday is a small Easter. And of course, we are at ordinary time, which means Mother Church, yes, she's drawn from the sacred scriptures. She's going to highlight some aspect of our discipleship. She's going to call us to a deeper relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And today, giving us an account from the gospel, the church is stressing the importance of prayer, the importance of prayer in each of our lives as Christians. So we see this encounter in the gospel between a scribe and the Lord Jesus. The Lord is asked, uh, which is the greatest of all the commandments? And at that time, the law of Moses had over 400 different commandments that the Lord could have drawn from. And it was actually a common question that would be asked of teachers of the law, which do you consider the greatest of the commandments, right? Although in this case, we know that there were efforts to try to trip Jesus up, to find him to say something wrong or that the majority would disagree with and so on. So it's not necessarily a sincere question, but it's being posed to the Lord, which is the greatest of all the commandments. And again, there's over 400 or so. But What does the Lord do? Well, he breaks through all that, breaks through the intrigue, breaks through the possible deception, goes right to the heart of the question, and then goes to that very depth of the question. And he doesn't give any of the over 400 statutes of the law of Moses. What does he give instead? He gives the Shema, the highest prayer of Israel. The Shema was like the old was like the Old Testament version of the Lord's Prayer. So in the Christian faith, how the Lord's Prayer is our highest prayer. In the Old Testament, it was the Shema. Shema is Hebrew, it means listen. So listen, O Israel, hear, O Israel. And the Lord Jesus, when he's asked about the grace of the commandments, he goes right to prayer. So imagine if you were to ask someone today, which of all the commandments and, 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 you know, the aspects of the New Testament, which are the most important? And you were to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Right? You get it? The Lord is saying, which is the greatest of the commandments? The greatest of the commandments is that you give your heart to God. All of the commandments serve that. And the Shema, it calls Israel to give everything they have to God, their heart, their soul, their mind, give everything to God. That is the greatest of the commandments the Shema, to lift your heart to God, to give your whole being to God. That is the greatest commandment. All the others, again, serve that. And then the Lord gives the Shema, and then what does he do? He says, and the second is like it. They didn't ask for a second. (laughs) They're going to get one. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Like everyone. Remember, in the Old Testament, you're only bound to love those within the covenant. Now the Lord's saying, no, you're going to love everyone. So the Lord is universalizing the call to love. And he says, and that is the second one, and it is like it. So the one who asked the question definitely got more than what he was asking for, more than what he was expecting. But it's a powerful answer. It's a powerful answer to that person. It's a powerful answer to each of us. Sometimes we want to look and say, oh, no, 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 it's just about this. I just have to worry about, you know, you know, integrity and, and stop gossiping and lying, and, and then I'll be okay. Or, oh, well, I just have to worry about purity and, and make sure I get that okay. And then we keep wanting to make something else the greatest of the commandments. All those are part of it. But what's the greatest commandment? Give your entire heart, soul, and mind to God. That's it. That's the greatest of the commandments. And, of course, the Shema is fulfilled by the Lord's Prayer. And we turn and we say, Our Father who art in heaven, and we ask that we are given the grace to hollow his name, his will, his kingdom in all that we do. Which is the greatest of commandments? Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is Lord alone. You shall worship him and give him your whole heart and your whole soul and your whole mind. That is the greatest of commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Those are our thoughts for today, dear friends. I want to thank you for joining me. I encourage you, keep fighting a good fight. 
And remember, you can receive daily spiritual encouragement sent right to your inbox when you subscribe to The Morning Offering at morningoffering.com. God bless you. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Morning Offering with Father Kirby is a production of Good Catholic, the media division of The Catholic Company. For more faith-filled podcasts and videos, visit goodcatholic.com.